Welcome back to my channel, guys. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to attempt to try to assemble an Ikea wardrobe rack. And I just thought that I would film it because I didn't see any video with this particular rack. I saw the one without the shelves, but I decided to try to film something for you guys. Sorry for the close-up, but um, I'm just going to try my best to film it as best as I can. Uh, like I said, because I hadn't seen anything on YouTube like it. So I'll put the name in the description box because it wasn't coming up either unless people are calling it something else. But I didn't see it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn the camera around and get started and let you guys see everything. Probably speed it up so you guys won't get bored with it. But um, all right, guys. So I'll let you guys know once I'm done. Bye. Hey guys, so I'm here just trying to assemble this Ikea wardrobe rack. Um, I hadn't seen anything on YouTube with this particular one. I'm going to put everything in the description box for you guys, but um, I'm going to attempt to do it. The video is about 9 minutes and 20 seconds, and it took me about an hour and I'll tell you why when you see certain areas. I am going to speed this up for you guys. So I'm just kind of pulling everything out. You have the three shelves. You have five long rods, that poles that have holes in it. And then there's one short one. There's one base. And there's two like C-shaped um, brackets and then one L-shape. Uh, there's a box of screws. I would recommend... Pulling out all of your screws first. If you are a person like me who doesn't really know how to put things together. And then Ikea doesn't really have like good. I mean, I guess the instructions are good, but there's no words in there for us. So for me, I, laying out the screws and making sure I have everything first. Um, that's easy for me. And I think that may work for you also. So I'm just actually adding on the, the wheels. So this particular one has two wheels only um and then there's like these two other pieces that just sit on the, the floor but the one base so i'm just screwing the the wheels in first so that's the first step on the instructions to screw in the wheels and it was pretty easy they gave you three different island keys um i think i used only two of them probably only two uh so right here you guys can't see um but I'm taking two of the longer poles and then I'm going to take one of the C-shaped ones and make like, I guess a larger C-shaped um, bracket. But that's going to be where the, um, what do you call these things? The shelves are going to sit on. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. Everything is pretty much easy to put in. As far as like the screws and stuff, those are pretty easy. I will show you guys what I had some struggle with. And I would recommend going from the bottom up to put the screws in. Um, but I'll show you guys when we get there. So, yes. So, initially I was actually going to build both of those that I just that I have on the floor. But I decided to just follow the directions <laughs> and not be impatient. So, I'm just reading the instructions, trying to figure out what goes next. So, basically you add on the three shelves and there's like a little indentation on one side and that's the side that actually sits upward but then there's two that actually lay flush against your pole so if you can see that's what I'm doing here uh, this wasn't that hard to put on um, because the screws are actually on the sides so that's pretty easy but again I'm not a person that likes to assemble things and Ikea is definitely to me challenging because it's just it's always overwhelming there's so many screws in there but yeah so here I'm just like trying to situate the, the three shelves or whatever and um the best that I can <laughs> so uh the next thing you're gonna see is me probably let's see I'm trying to speed it up as fast as I can for you guys but, um, yes, honestly, this part wasn't hard. It, I was just struggling trying to get the, um, the screw in the hole. So make sure when you are placing them together 
the um, the L shaped bracket. Um, make sure that your holes are aligned because there are some. I think it's the longer poles where there's a screw hole and then there's like another hole. So just kind of be mindful of that. It looks a little crooked when you do it, but it's not. So I'm just adding in that that L shape on the other side of the the shelving unit part. Um, and this is the part that I struggled with. So I would recommend just laying it flush against the floor and not leaning up on anything. So there are some indentations where you see me adding in the screw. There's three of them. Um, and then the one at the top is also going to be screwed in where the beginning of the L will be at, well, the bottom of the L. And, um... But you don't put that screw in yet. So it kept moving for me and it was just like driving me insane. So just kind of hold it together. And I use my hand, I believe, to screw it in just a little bit. And then I ended up using the L shape, um, island, the island key, sorry. And then I finally got it to freaking go in. But I would recommend trying to get each one in a, a little bit and then screwing them in, the rest of them in. So I'm just looking at the instructions again, trying to make sure that I have everything. And it did get a little better when I laid it flat um, against the, 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 the carpet. So now I'm just adding in the screw to the top. So that's the side for the shelving part. Um, and I hope you guys can see it because this looks like a no-no. So okay, I did move it up. Okay, so that's the shelf standing up. It'll be a lot easier once you do it, honestly. If you if you watch this and you kind of slow it down, you'll see exactly what's being done. So I'm building the other side, which is, I thought it was exactly the same, but of course it's not because it doesn't have the, um, the shelves. So I'm just kind of, and that's the part I was saying with the holes and stuff. So just make sure that you align them correctly because there is like some slots in there. And then there's holes for your actual screws. So once that's aligned and you add your screws, you're good to go. Um, so I'm pretty much building the same type of thing that I built for the, the shelving side. Um, and again, make sure your screws is aligned. That'll make it just so easy and smooth. And now I'm just kind of tightening it up. There's a there's some screws that are on here that's kind of like awkward. Um, there's no ending to it. So just make sure those are all the way in. And you'll see them when you open up the packet of screws. But here it is. I'm just pushing in the base. So when you push in the base, make sure all of the um, poles are actually sitting in their flush. And um, you're going to end up using, I believe it was a, a washer and a screw. To tighten it and what am I doing down there yeah the washer and the screw so you should see that in your um, box of screws and then the last step here on that side because we already put the the wheels the other side is going to be the um the other part you guys see how tired I am I was so tired <laughs> I was tired <laughs> And trying to joke, but um, it was tiring for me because I think I was hungry. But there it is, guys. And I'm just going to add some clothes on just to see, you know, how long it is. I'm tall, so that dress in the middle is rather long. So I just wanted to see how, how it would sit on here. Um, I like it actually a lot. Once I put the wheels on, I thought it was like a decent height. Um, not too short for me, but here it is. The Ikea, I think it's called a corn Jones. I don't know. I'm going to put everything in the description box. You know Ikea and they weird names. But um, that's it, guys. 